Life was anything but easy for young Rene Level Martinez. I grew up, you know, without a dad. My mom was in the streets. My mom was into the Santeria, which is witch, like a form of witchcraft. I sacrificed an animal all over me as a kid. And uh, I started seeing demons. This is where I grew up at right here, on the third floor. All the way to the end right there, that was our apartment, me and my mom. Right in there. Very uh, gang, gang infested neighborhood. This neighborhood was crazy. Right there you got 47th Ave, you got Kinlock Park. Victoria Vasquez lives close to Kinlock Park Junior High, the scene of gang fights and shootings. Um, I'm very scared. I had so much pain, so much anger inside of me. It did something to me. Not having a dad in my life, my mom not being there. You know, the streets became my family. These streets turned me into a savage, man. I hit them streets at a very young age. Nine, ten years old, I was already in them streets. That darkness led to a life of crime with Level breaking into homes, stealing guns, and getting involved in drive-by shootings. On Halloween night, 1989, we had a meeting and we formed Latin Syndicate. Level recalls staring death in the face numerous times. And we started to rob well-known dope boys, drug dealers, you know? It was getting robbed. It was all about gang banging, robbing, selling drugs. That's all we was doing. So we over here at the Quake Stop. We in Leisure City now. And um, this is where we used to serve at. We used to sell crack here. I mean, everything happened over here. You know, when I moved out here, I ended up clicking with the IGs. And when I tell you that we got in so many shootings and, and all kind of stuff right here, like I lost count. Like the first couple of months I was here, no exaggeration. I was always good at fighting. I started fighting bare knuckle with Kimbo Slice. Get him. Oh, get him. No, get no, get him. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I was, I was beating everybody, bare knuckle, we were betting money in the backyards, bare knuckle, I'm winning. My name got so big that Telemundo came and they did a, they offered me a pro contract. I went to Nicaragua, beat three-time world champion Ricardo Mayorga. Yet those successes in the ring didn't fill the void he felt inside. I had the money, I had the fame, I was doing the gangster music, but I was empty inside. By this time, his mother had become a Christian and began praying for her son. In 2016, her prayers were answered when Level had a supernatural experience with God. So that is when my true walk started, April 10th, 2016. I said, man, baptize me right now, man. We went to the beach and he baptized me in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins. And I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now I'm on fire for the Lord, man. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, Lord. For we don't deserve what you've done for us, Lord. And my dog level was showing people in his yard and everything. Showing people, man, we can make it out the hood. Manifest to us, Lord. Make our mouth a trumpet on these last days, Heavenly Father. My dog level, man, showed us a lot of love around here. I am here in a community that was once terrorized by Rene Level Martinez as the head of the Latin Syndicate's gang. Today, Level is back here, but with a very different message. I pray, Lord God, that you touch him, Lord, right now, Lord God, even right now, Lord. I pray that you, hallelujah, you remove the pain and the hurt. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we call upon you, we call upon your name, Lord. I came back to the streets I used to terrorize, but now I'm giving them the, the, I'm giving them life now, yeah. giving it's them death Jesus, before. you feel me? Before it was death, now I'm giving them Jesus. Level now ministers to former gang members and is often seen baptizing people in some of the city's roughest neighborhoods. Tell them, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, Acts 2.38. And that's, my, that, that's what I preach. I almost died on many different occasions, but for some reason, I'm still here. Meanwhile, a documentary called The Warrior Level has been made about Level's life. Churches are using it as an evangelistic tool. Lives are being transformed. God formed a sacrifice in the womb of Mary. Amen. The word of God says that the spirit overshadowed Mary. And the angel came to Mary and said, you shall bring forth the son and you shall call his name Jesus. And show him, Lord God, that he was wonderfully made in your image, Lord God, that he is your son, Lord God. Today, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that he answers the call, Lord God. I pray today, hallelujah, that he takes on your name, Lord. I pray, Lord, that he repents today, Lord, 
We must be blood washed. We must receive his name. Hallelujah. We must receive the new birth. Hallelujah. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We must receive that name. And I'm just honored to be used by God. It's a privilege and an honor to be used by him, you know, because he could have chose anybody else. I could have been one of them, one of, one of them people that died early, but I'm still here and I'm grateful. Charlene Aaron, CBN News, Leisure City, Florida.